Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanu Chuk. I am an MDS in Oral Pathology and today we will see what is Talon's Cusp. Okay, so if you can appreciate in this image, this is a Talon's Cusp. It is an accessory cusp, extra cusp and where it is seen, it is present on the lingual surface right so it is present on lingual surface in this image it's a mandibular lateral incisor but usually it is present on the lingual surface of incisors maxillary or mandibular incisors so this is my tooth and on its lingual aspect i can see an accessory cusp it is a talons cusp right let's first understand why is it called a talons cusp so it resembles an eagle's talon the claw of an eagle right therefore it is called as a talons cusp okay now, talons cusp, we are reading it from the chapter developmental disturbance. So, it is a developmental disturbance in the shape of the tooth, right? There is a change in the shape of the tooth. So, it is a developmental anomaly in shape of teeth, right? It is an anomalous structure resembling an eagle's talon. I told you it resembles an eagle claw, right? Which is eagle's claw is also called as talon, okay? So, it is an anomalous structure resembling an eagle's talon and where it is present? It is present on lingual aspect of incisors, right? This talon cusp, it consists of normal, enamel, dentine and pulp, right? This cusp blends smoothly with the tooth. So, this cusp, it will blend smoothly with the tooth except that there is a deep developmental here somewhere there is a deep developmental groove where the cusp blends with the sloping lingual tooth surface now what will happen since due to this a deep developmental groove is formed it can lead to certain complications what are these complications because of this deep groove that is present there can be dental caries some aesthetic problem malocclusion can be there right sometimes this can be if required treated right we can do prophylactic restoration all these things can be done one more thing that is asked in exam is which syndrome is associated with talon's cusp so remember this thing it is very important rubinstein tayabi syndrome it is a syndrome in which we see talon's cusp talon cusp is not very common but it is usually seen in this syndrome rubinstein tayabi syndrome what do we mean by syndrome a syndrome means when uh, you know many features occur together they form a syndrome so in this syndrome there are certain features or uh, out of which one is talon cusp so rubinstein tayabi syndrome uh, in this, there will be developmental retardation, broad thumbs and great toes, right? Delayed or incomplete descent of testes in males, bone age below 50th percentile. The one thing that you need to remember as a dental student is talon cusp is seen in Rubinstein Tayabi syndrome. Okay, so if I brief you about talon's cusp, it, it resembles a eagle's claw right it is present on lingual aspect of the incisors maxillary or mandibular incisors and it is a developmental anomaly in shape of the teeth there's a change in the shape of the teeth therefore it's a developmental anomaly in shape of the teeth and there's a deep developmental groove that will form where it will where the talons cusp merge with the lingual surface of the tooth and this can lead to dental caries aesthetics or malocclusion and one of the syndrome in which we see talon cusp is rubinstein tayabi syndrome I hope this lecture was helpful for you. If you like the lecture, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more such videos. Also, you can join my online oral pathology classes. The number to contact is mentioned below in the description. The recommended books link is below in the description. Also, dental notes I upload on my website. You can check that out as well. Again, the link is below in the description. Thank you.